So, welcome again. Uh, today it's gonna be the third video about dialogues in Polish. Today we're gonna continue where we left off last time from chapter 2, the second part or the, third, the second page of it. And uh, we're gonna learn new words, so let's see some new vocabs. These are the vocabs that we learned so far from chapter 1 till chapter 2 where we left off last time. And these are gonna be new connecting to the today's uh, dialogue. So. Sheptach means to whisper, to murmur, conspire. They they also they almost mean the same depending on the context. They they change. Zhech means um, a thing, an object, matter. Also depend on the context. Uh, and zhech is a feminine, yeah. Just just saying, it's a feminine word. Obchodzić uh, is an interesting verb. It means to celebrate or to concern. However. Uh, it can be used to say something else or to express something else. We're gonna see this in this dialogue. This is why I put this here. So just like keep this in mind. Menchic, to tire someone. Uh, Menchic, to get tired of someone or, or, or of something. So Menchic and Menchic, uh, it's similar to Uczyć się and Uczyć. So Uczyć means to teach. So I am teaching you. So ja was uczę. And uh, you are learning. Uh, it means you are learning. So uh, it's, it, it means differently, of course. Uh, and I hope you are getting it. And I think it's not so hard to get it. Uh, here is the same. Menchic. I am tiring you with my lectures. Menchic. Uh, you are getting tired by my lectures. So you get now the shell, what, mean, what it means. It's a little bit more, um, it's a little bit complicated to understand now, but with time you will understand uh, what show actually means. And it mean, it, it's always reflective of one's self or one's feeling. So when you add show to a, a verb, it means that you are talking about yourself and what you're feeling um, towards something, okay? Uh, Mishlet, it means to think, of course. Uh, Stu means a table. Okay, so we're not going to see the words to a table now, but we're going to see something related. So this is why um, I want you to keep this in mind for now. And you learn stew is a table, new word. Okay, let's get started. The first day we did the chapter one. You can re review quickly if you want to, pause the video and review. And today we're going to do uh, the second page of chapter two. We're still in... Walka w bibliotece, which is a fight in the library. So I will uh, uh, read the first paragraph the first time without showing the um, translation, and then we'll show translation and we'll explain everything. So, okay. Robert szepcze do ucha Adriany, mówiłeś, że nie mogą nas zobaczyć? Oh, so before we start, because maybe you wanna re remember what's happening. So. Um, you can read what happens. O, uh, oto Robert i Adriana macha do nich z oczywistym fałszywym uśmiechem. So they were supposed so not to be seen by by El, by Elizabeth, but then she saw them in the in the library. And then we're continuing. Okay. So Robert szepcze do ucha Adriany, mówiłeś, że nie mogą nas zobaczyć. Adriana, cicho, udawajmy, że przyszliśmy tu się uczyć. Elżbieta, dołączcie do nas. Dawid i ja rozmawialiśmy o kilku rzeczach, ale teraz możecie nam towarzyszyć. Adriana, o, o czym dokładnie rozmawialiście? Nie to, że mnie to obchodzi, ale jestem Elżbieta Ściwska. Dawid szybko zmienia temat. Właściwie, właściwie uczyliśmy się i pomagałem jej z matematyki, ponieważ mnie o to poprosiła. Nie o to poprosiła. Adriana, o, rozumiem, ona nie jest najlepszą, jeśli chodzi o myślenia. Mam nadzieję, że cię nie męczy. Elżbieta, może powinnaś pilnować swoich spraw. Przynajmniej nie straciłam dziewictwa w stołówce z jakimś idiotą, który próbował podpalić szkołę. Ok, so uh, this is what are we gonna learn today. Let's see some translation here. So Robert szepcze do ucha Adriany. Robert whispers in Adriana's ear. 
so Shep Dutch becomes Shep Che when it's in the third person. Um, I hope you're familiar now with the conjugation. Okay. Um, do ucha, ucho means uh, ear, becomes do ucha Adriane. So why would, did we change the endings? Because um, unfortunately in Polish, in Polish language you have to change some endings when you adding do, for example, uh, to Adriana's ear. So here we are reflecting a possessive um, uh, way. So do ucha Adriane. So if you say, if you don't uh, change the ending here, the meaning might go meaningless. Okay, so it's better to learn how to change at the end. However, it's not necessary at the beginning. Uh, you don't have to be, uh, you don't have to say it because people will eventually understand you even if you don't change the ending. So you can say do ucho Adriana if you are freshly uh, learning Polish and you are trying to learn. This will come with practice and will and with time, okay? So do ucho Adriane. Uh, mówiłeś, że nie mogą nas zobaczyć. Mówiłeś uh, in, in the past, you were saying, że that they cannot see us. There, uh, I didn't write that here because it's not necessary. However, it's necessary to write that in, Mo in, in Poland. So, mówiłeś, że that nie mogą, they can't, nas, us, nas means us, see. Zobaczyć means to see. Okay, it's another word to see. To me, that means to see. We've seen others as well, yeah? So, nie mogą nas zobaczyć. They can't see us. Uh, Adriana, cicho, shush, or hush, or, yeah. Udawajmy, że przeszliśmy tu się uczyć. Let's pretend, udawajmy, ud udawać means to pretend or to act. Udawajmy is the imperative form, the order. When you order someone, udawaj, it means pretend, or udawajmy, let's pretend. Um, że przeszliśmy tu się uczyć. That we came here to learn. Uh, przyszliśmy is uh, uh, from the word przyjść and uh, becomes przyszliśmy in the past uh, to here się uczyć, to learn. Okay? So, pretend here to come to study. Elżbieta Notice that it's different, yeah? Elżbieta is Elizabeth in English. Um, dołączcie do nas. Dawid i ja rozmawialiśmy o kilku rzeczach, ale teraz możecie nam towarzyszyć. So, come join us. Dołącz means uh, uh, join me. So, dołącz, when you ask someone to join you, you say dołącz me. But now, because they are talking to, she is talking to Adriana and Robert, so she used the uh, plural form of uh, you. So, you join us. You to join us means the want te don us. Okay, this is a matter of knowing how the conjugation works. So, if you don't know, just visit my daily verb um, verbs so that you can see how to conjugate don us to us. Okay, David i ja rozmawialiśmy o kilku o kilku rzeczach. David and I, David i ja rozmawialiśmy. We're talking. Rozmawiać. Rozmawialiśmy o about kilku, a couple, kilka, kilku, o kilku rzeczach. So rzecz becomes rzeczach. Why? Because this is a locative preposition. This is how it makes the verb come, uh, the, the words coming next to it behave. So o kilku rzeczach, ale teraz możecie nam towarzyszyć. If you would like to know uh, how the locative works, I have a video about that in the grammar. It's called the locative. And if you would like to have how uh, to know how the words behave after do, for example here do ucha, I have also a video about that. You can have to you're gonna have to see them in the grammar, or I can just link them here. Anyway, o kilku rzeczach it means about a couple of stuff or a couple of things or a couple of matter. Uh, however, ale or but ale teraz but now you can. Um, uh, you can join us or you can accompany us. Towarzyszyć as a verb means um, to company. Okay? 
towarzyszyć. Towarzystwo means a company. Towarzyszyć means to company someone. So you can, możecie, towarzyszyć, join or company, us. Not join. Join is the łączyć. Towarzyszyć is to company. Nam, of course. You can company us. Uh, Adriana, oh, oh, o czym dokładnie rozmawialiście? You see that we have used, we've been using this so much. O czym, about what? Okay, so co means, uh, becomes czym when you add o in front of it or a locative, okay? O czym dokładnie, exactly, so dokładnie means exactly. What stuff were you talking about? O czym dokładnie roz rozmawialiście? You were talking about, as we said, rozmawialiście means to um, talk about something, rozmawiać. Uh, ok. Uh, nie to, że mnie to obchodzi. It's not that, so nie to, or not that, uh, that I care, but I am. Three points. Ok, so here the words obchodzi, obchodzić, as we said, uh, in its infinitive form or base form, it means to celebrate and or whatever, to observe or whatever. But here, um, it almost means the same. However, and in this context, mean uh, it means uh, that it, I couldn't care less. So it's often used and it's uh, worse to know. So, mnie to nie to obchodzi, or mnie to nie obchodzi. Okay, so obchodzi mnie. When you just write obchodzi and write after obchodzi mnie, it means I care about this. Or this, let's say, if you want to use the verb celebrate, it celebrates me, or I can, or I don't know, I just, it's just I care about it, okay? So whenever you say, uh, you see the word obchodzi, obchodzi mnie, obchodzi cię, obchodzi uh, was, obchodzi nas, so it means that we care, or to care about something, okay? So here we are saying nie to, że mnie to obchodzi. It's not that. So this is, this means it's not nie to, uh, że mnie that me cares, okay? So this is literally how it means. If you want to translate each word, you would say no or not it or it not that me cares about. So it's not that I care about what you were talking about, however, but Ale yes, then she didn't have, have a chance to talk, and then Elżbieta told her Szczipska, which means nosy. That was rude, but anyway, so I hope you understood, uh, you understood what I was talking about here, and if you understood, if you didn't understand, then I don't know, write in the comments so I can explain it in another way. So, obchodzić komuś, or kogoś, sorry. Obchodzić mnie, obchodzi cię, obchodzi uh, nas, or was, uh, means to care about something, okay? Uh, Wyścibska means nosy, or curious, or curious in a bad way. So, you're such a nosy girl. Uh, so, here we're gonna expect some... Um, Intention between Elizabeth and Adriana. Um, David, yes, uh, David, uh, szybko, szybko zmienia temat. David quickly changes the subject. So, szybko means quickly, zmienia, change the subject, temat. Temat means a subject or, or a subject, yeah, a topic. Właściwie uczyliśmy się i pomagało mi z matematyki. We were actually studying and I was helping her with mathematics. So, uczyć się, this is the, the past form, właściwie means actually. Uh, and, pomagałem, I was helping her, pomagać, becomes pomagałem in the past. Her, jej, pomagałem jej, z matematyki, with maths. Ponieważ, because uh, she asked me. Because, ponieważ, mnie o to poprosiła. So she asked me about, means o, means about. O to means it. And asked. So, because, about this, she asked me. Okay? 
just uh, I want you to understand the meaning of each word. This is why sometimes I just tell you what each word means, okay? Because in English you write it differently. Uh, Adriana. Oh, rozumiem. Ona nie jest najlepsza. Oh, I understand. Rozumiem means I understand. She isn't. Ona nie jest. She isn't. She is not. The best, najlepsza. This is a um, superlative. Uh, ona nie jest najlepsza. She is not the best. When it comes, jeśli chodzi o myślenie. This is rude as well. Uh, when it comes to thinking. She, she is not jeśli. It means if. Uh, or when, in this context. If it comes, uh, chodzi o. You see, the, the word chodzić means to walk or uh, or to come, okay? So chodzi o comes about thinking. So you see how, how people think and how people in Polish, I mean Polish people think and speak. This is how in Poland um, the, the neologism is constructed. However, here you can see when it comes to thinking, I can actually say that it's kind of similar when it comes, jeśli chodzi o, about thinking, myślenia. Myśleć is the, firm, uh, the verb, the gerund is myślenia, the process of thinking, okay? So, I hope you understood here what happened. Mam nadzieję, I hope, means mam nadzieję is also used, że that cię nie męczy, that she is not tiring you, okay? As we said, męczy, it means to tire someone. Men, męczy się, or męczyć się, it means to, I get tired of something. So I hope, mam nadzieję, że cię nie męczy. Cię means you. She is not tiring you. It's not tiring you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's move to the last one. Elżbieta, Elizabeth. Może powinnaś pilnować swoich spraw. Maybe you should mind your own business. So może means maybe. Może, in this case. Uh, powinnaś, you should, powinnaś, pilnować, mind, or you should watch, or you should watch your own uh, business, or mind your own business. It is used, pilnować. You can use pilnować to, for example, um, keep an eye on something. So, pilnuj czegoś, pilnować. Swoich spraw. Swoich, it means your own matter or business. Sprawa or sprawo becomes, uh, becomes uh, spraw, okay? Przynajmniej, at least, przynajmniej means at least, nie straciłem dziewictwa. So, my virginity. So, at least I didn't lose, nie straciłem, my virginity, or virginity, w stołówce, in the cafeteria. Okay, so stu means, this is why I wrote the word stu, uh, because this is where you can memorize the word stołówka, or stołówce here, stołówce. Um, stu means table, stołówce means cafeteria, where there are many tables. So you can remember it in this way, and it actually means, makes sense, and, and it is actually re related. So stołówka, becomes a stołówce. Why? Because we have the here, which is locative. Uh, as you see, locative and uh, other stuff are really common. So this is why it's really important to understand what the locative is. This is why I'm saying that you should go and visit my video often to remember, to know what I'm talking about. So stołówka is the general word, becomes stołówce. Z jakimś, with some, Idiotom. So, z jakimś idiotom, with, um, with some idiot, który, who, or which, he tried to burn down the school. Who was trying to set the school on fire, okay? I think we both, we all know who the person is, we've talked about him in the previous uh, dialogues, okay? So, let's just repeat here. Może powinnaś pilnować swoich spraw, maybe you should watch your own business or mind your own business. Przynajmniej uh, nie straciłem dziewictwa. At least I didn't lose my virginity in the cafeteria w stołówce z jakimś idiotą, with some idiot 
który próbował who tried um, podpalić tę szkołę to burn down the school or to set the school on fire so that was it for this for today's dialogue uh, I hope you understood next time we'll do the last part here and then we'll be finished with chapter 2 if there's anything you didn't understand or you'd like me to explain it in a different way you can just write in the comments and you can always contact me on the email written in the description if you'd like to contact me personally um, and yeah make sure to subscribe if you find this helpful because there go, uh, there are gonna be a lot of other topics coming up soon and I click the, by, uh, the bell icon so that you get notified and uh, that's it for today thank you all and bye see you